Hurricane Ian made landfall here in South Florida. All the palms that are around my pool have fallen over. Oh my gosh! In the palm frond, can you see? That's a water snake right there. One, two, three. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. And for those that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know Hurricane Ian made landfall here in South Florida. While it didn't hit directly here in Miami, it ravaged the west coast of Florida, but we still got tropical storm conditions here in Miami. I have some damage on my property and we found some creatures living in my pool after the storm. We had some crazy, creepy creatures end up in my pool after this storm. That is all I'm gonna tell you guys. So if you guys wanna see the hurricane damage from around my property, you wanna know what got blown into my pool from this hurricane, well guys, you are in the right place and well, we're gonna hop right into that. Well guys, this is not a good one, so I'm not sure if you can see the screen right here, but it is Tuesday, which means Hurricane Ian is on the way, so. Right now, over the coast of Cuba, we have Hurricane Ian, which now is a category three hurricane with winds of between 112 and 129 miles per hour. Now, that is the eye of the storm. And I'm in Miami, and I'm literally right there. That's about the area that I live, right over here. So this hurricane right here, this is just not good. Everything I've built over the past couple of years could be destroyed in a matter of hours because of this hurricane right here. So. We have Hurricane Ian coming, but thankfully I actually just installed hurricane windows. So this, I'm sorry guys, I know it looks really janky, but I haven't installed the blinds yet, but oh wow, that's bright. I just had these hurricane windows installed and inspected, which means these windows right here can withstand category five hurricane winds. Now I'm sure you guys are wondering what's category five winds. Well, that's winds of 157 plus miles per hour. So the house is going to be protected, but I, I'm going to need everyone's prayers. This storm is supposed to hit around Naples and Fort Myers. It's not supposed to hit me, but like anything with nature, you never know. I'm freaking out, but luckily I have a great team. I've got my family, I've got my friends. We have a plan ready and in place for the storm to bring all the animals inside. So we are not 100% out of the woods. If we don't get the storm, we're definitely gonna get tropical storm conditions. So guys, comment down below a prayer and I will see all of you once the storm arrives. The next morning. Guys, we are in the middle of a tropical storm right now. Not sure if you can see, but we have Hurricane Ian. We have the winds from Ian. Now in Miami, we don't have an actual hurricane here, but we have tropical storm conditions. So I'm just outside right now, checking up on all the animals. As you can see, we have some crazy wind. Wind gusts of up to about 50, 60 miles an hour. Oh no, and I'm already seeing some damage. So you can see the wind is no joke right now and we're already dealing with the damage. So right over here by my macaws, my giant bush just fell down. Now, good thing is this isn't a very heavy tree. It's just very bushy. So this entire tree has already fallen down. Um, it actually snapped here at the base of the pole. So you can see it completely snapped there, guys. We're gonna need some prayers right now because in the next couple of hours, that is when the worst of this wind and the storms are going to be here in Miami and South Florida. Jesus, look at this tree. So the whole bush fell down. We probably are gonna be able to save it. So for everyone that is over on the west coast of Florida, I'm praying for you guys, cause it's very windy here and a little bit crazy and I can't imagine there. Uh, hurricane Ian, looks like it's gonna make landfall as a category four hurricane on the west coast. I know a lot of people with a lot of incredible animals over on the west coast of Florida and they might be getting destroyed. So the tortoises are looking good so far. Tortoises are looking nice. Our marmoset's doing well. Let's go through here. And Rue and Rufus, the lemurs are doing great. Hello, my children, how are you guys doing okay? Hi, my, my children. So we got leaves blowing in there. Oh no, that's nice. So right over here, over by my pool, all of the Palm trees are knocked over. So all the palms that are around my pool have fallen over, all of them but like two or three. So that this is great. That's not so bad. These guys can be put back up pretty easily, but I think I'm gonna leave them down because we're expected to have way worse winds. So to pick them back up, they're just gonna fall over again. My pool right now is a disaster. All these palm fronds from these royal palms have fallen in. We've got all kinds of this leaf debris in the pool, but we have these palm fronds which are sinking in the pool. So we have 
one, two, three, four palm fronds, and there's that one that's dangling, and there's a couple of more. So I suspect by the end of the storm, we're gonna have more of these palm fronds in the pool. I'm praying for all my Floridians on the west coast of Florida, whether you guys have animals, whether I know you or not, I'm praying for everyone because this is gonna be a catastrophic storm. Um, we're already dealing with some damage here. So I'm hoping for the best, but I'm prepared for the worst. The wind is really picking up, guys. It's getting insane right now. I'd say we probably got 40 mile an hour winds here. Oh my gosh! Guys, this is crazy! <laughs> guys, I probably shouldn't be out here right now, but I am. Um, we're waiting for more palm fronds to fall, more trees, because I'm not sure if you see that right there, but this is it's getting a little nuts. All right, we're dealing with some crazy wind right now, guys. I'm not sure what's going to happen. But right by the slots, it's going crazy. All right, the storm is over and we are safe and sound here in Miami. But it got pretty crazy for a while, Hannah, right? It was pretty crazy. It guys. was pretty crazy. So as you guys know, all these palm trees were knocked down. We had crazy winds. But we've seen some of the images, some of the videos coming from the West Coast. And it looks like so many people had total loss and total destruction. I mean, people's houses literally flooded up to the walls and I'm so thankful that we don't have that issue here um, that we're built up on a hill and that we didn't get hit by the storm but again I just really sad and sorry for everyone on the west coast but we did deal with some damage here in Miami and this seems to be the worst of it so we're just going to kind of go around the property today and look at all the damage so we have all this debris in the pool right now we have palm fronds galore and last storm we see actually had what Right there. I don't see anything. No, do, you have to see that. There's a palm frond right no, there. No, but look under. Okay. Do you see all it? All right, wait. I'm looking through the screen. Oh, my gosh. I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh, guys, there's a, it looks like there's a water snake here. So we live actually, my property is actually right next to a canal. So we have snakes wander in here all the time. We have water snakes, red rat snakes, yellow rat snakes. I'm in a part of South Florida where a lot of these native snakes are still here. And look. But, I, oh, I, th I think he's upside down. So right there, yeah. not sure if you could see, but I think, I don't think he's alive, Hannah. Really? I don't think so, because he's flipped over. That's the bottom side. Oh my gosh. Guys, there's a water snake in the palm frond. Can you see, that's a water snake right there. Um, hold on, let's move this out of the way. Let's move, here. Are we going? Yeah. All right, let's move this palm frond out of the way. Let's get this out of the pool right now. I'm gonna get this out right now. All right, let's get the palm front out. So this is some of the damage we have. It's all wet here right now. Right there, yeah, 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 look. Look, you see him. Okay, he is definitely not alive in there. You can see that's the flip side over. It looks like he must have gotten caught in the storm. Maybe he got caught under the palm front. What I am suspecting is the palm front fell on him as he was in the pool swimming around because this property actually floods a lot. So, okay. I think we should go get... All right, you're going to go get him, Hannah, okay? Okay, and there's no way I'm going yeah. in that pool. Uh, you, yeah, you got to. No, no? That's, okay. that's all you. So we have a water snake in here. We're going to try and get him out and see what's up with him. So I'm going to go grab my GoPro, and let's go get this snake. So I've got my GoPro. We're going to head on in. We're going to get this snake out, so let's go, guys. Let's dive under right now over the palm front, and in we go. Just got the snake. You guys see this right here? Water snake. We got our snake, and unfortunately, my worst fears have come true. This water snake did not survive the storm. As you could see, he was midway shedding when he went into the water. I suspect maybe he went in the water to actually help with the shed. If you look right here, you could see all the different parts of his shed actually peel off right here. So this is just really sad to see one of our beautiful native snakes perish in the storm. These are one of my favorite native snakes, and it Wait, just really... Wait, Jacob. What? what? I, I swear I just saw something move. Where? I don't know what it was, but it was like right behind you. In the, on the bottom? Yes, yes. It was under the bottom in the pom-poms. How big? But I don't know. I couldn't really tell because I only got a glimpse of it. Okay, and you said it was right here? It was somewhere in that area. Like another snake? I think so. It could be. Okay, so I'm going to look, guys. We might be dealing with another snake right now. Let's actually... Let's go under right now. Let me just see what I can find under. Wait. Do you see anything? No, I don't think so. Hold on. Let me go under right now. All right. I'm going to go under and see what I can see. So let's go under right now. I don't see anything. I'm not seeing anything under the water right now. Wait right there. Do you see, I something? see something? Yeah, it just moved. Okay. All right. I see it now. I see it. 
Wait, I'm gonna wait for the water to settle down because right now the water is all stirred up. There's all kinds of particles and debris, different debris that could be mistaken for a small snake. And we're gonna lift the palm frond up and see if he's under there. So let's go under right now. One, two, three. <laughs> Got him! Crayfish snake! We got a crayfish! Oh, he's getting me! Look! Right out of the pool right now. Look at him, and if we handle him gently, we might not get bit. Oh, oh he almost got me. A rare native snake. This is, cr this is crazy finding him. Oh my gosh. I've only seen a handful of these throughout my times growing up here in Miami. This is amazing right here, finding this little crayfish snake. This is one of, this is a semi-aquatic snake species. And as you can see, he knows that by my gentle handling, that I'm not gonna hurt him. So that's why he's not biting. When you first saw him with his mouth open, it's not because he's mean, it's because he thinks I'm a big bad human that's trying to eat him. So what I think we have to do with him right now is we're gonna go release him back in the canal that's right by the house. So we got our snake, guys, so let's go release him. All right, we made it over to the canal right now. And we have our little grumpy crayfish snake right here trying to bite us. So we have our crayfish snake right here and we have beautiful crystal clear water in this canal. So I'm just gonna place him right here and he's gonna slither away and there he goes. He's off and away, guys. And well, that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's snake rescue from my pool after the hurricane. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of today's video. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet to me, you want to see more snakes. And you guys want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Well, guys, all you have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.